Three Mouthfuls by Alan Aitborn. The scene is set in a hotel dining room. Two tables are set apart, each with two chairs. These are laid up with cutlery, glasses and vases of flowers. Between them is a service counter. During the evening, the waiter brings various dishes out from behind a screen where the kitchen area is. As the scene opens, the waiter is finishing arranging his two tables. Visit, sir? No. Ah, so I will be joining you then, sir. <sighs> yes, indeed. That is rather why I reserved a table for two. Very good, sir. Good evening, madam. Good evening. There you are. Thank you. You might have waited for me. I had absolutely no idea where you'd got to. You know perfectly well where I was. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, madam. I told you. Sorry, I think this is the breakfast menu. Oh, here are, My apologies, sir. I'll go replace this. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience, madam. Thank you. Napkin, sir? Oh, please, please. Thank you. Napkin, madam? Thank you. Oh, Lord, I suppose I've got to read through all this. Would you, madam, or yourself care for a drink before your meal, sir? No, we wouldn't. Yes, sir. Oh no, I have brought them. We may have some wine. Yes, sir. No, that's that. I haven't brought them. What? My reading glasses. I've left them at home. <laughs> I suppose that means I've got to read this to you then. <laughs> Unless you want me to guess. <laughs> Can we have an ashtray, please? <laughs> of course, sir. Why you can't keep your glasses permanently in your hand, eh? This afternoon, whilst I was reading, and I forgot them, that's all. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. And we'll have a wine list as well. Wine list? Yes, sir. Now then, are you listening? Here we go. Hors d'oeuvres from the trolley, grapefruit cocktail. Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening, madam. Just the two of you, is there? Yes, that's right. Do you have a reservation, sir? No, we haven't. Just a moment then, sir. Room. Of course there's going to be room, but oh my god, look who's here. Where? There. It's Donald Pierce and his wife. Oh. I suppose I'd better go and say hello. No, don't do that. What? Let's go somewhere else. I'm not going somewhere else. Then I don't feel that to ask us to join them. Let's go somewhere else. I am not going somewhere else. What's the matter with you? Nothing. I just don't feel like talking to them. Why not? Not tonight. Sorry to keep you, sir. Would this table here suit you, sir? I mean, I, I mean, you can't expect to cut me on boss dead in a restaurant. Well, we have to pretend we didn't see them. It's obvious we've seen them. What, they haven't seen us? We can leave now. I am not leaving now. Thank you. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Nothing. Excuse me, sir. I mean, I thought you always got on with them. Oh, right. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Used to be happy to talk to them in the past. Would you care for a drink before your meal, sir? You used to be perfectly happy, no thank you, <laughs> perfectly happy to go round when they invited us. Not tonight, I'm not in the mood. Dover Sauvignon, lobster, thermidor, lobster, American, brackets when in season, scampi, all sorts of scampi, grilled halibut. I haven't seen for three weeks, I'd rather like it if we were just on our own. Well, I'm not the one who went away. All the same. I mean, you're the one who went off on holiday. You could have done. I told you I couldn't. All pierced there, thank you. Old Pierce, there, and who was enough work to last me a year. That wasn't my fault, Martin. I'm not saying it was, I was merely explaining why. Grilled pork chops, tornado a la crown, whatever that may be. Steak Diane, grilled fillet steak brackets when available. <coughs> Rump steak, garni. Book a holiday at a time when you're not going to be very busy. Because if I waited for you not to be busy, I'd never get holiday at all. 
Come on, darling, this chap wants us to order. No hurry, sir. No hurry. I mean, it was either a case of meeting the boy down my own or not down the boy's own. Roast Aylesbury duckling with orange sauce. Roast spring chicken <laughs> with stuffing. Roast turkey with cranberry sauce. Uh, enjoy going, going um, waiter, what is the soup of the day? Uh, minestrone, sir. Oh. How's your trip back? Not bad. Had to be at the airport at seven. Didn't get to leave fair until ten. I'm sorry I couldn't meet you. I didn't expect you to. I mean, our sales meeting went on so much. Yeah. Waiter! Sir? Waiter, what is the soup of the day? Minestrone, sir. Do you still on your sir? Do you do eggs benedict? Eggs benedict, madam? Mm. I should imagine if they did do eggs benedict, they'd have put eggs benedict in the menu. <laughs> I was only asking. I don't, <laughs> I don't think we do, madam. I mean, I read your menu very distinctly. I didn't read out eggs benedict, did I? I don't know. <laughs> but I've only just this minute finished reading it to you. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we may need a few more minutes to decide. <coughs> yes, sir. Of course. I suppose you want me to read this to you all over again. Marcus, the whole time, making hot, and it was a beautiful island. Yes, sounds it. Ah, now then. So far, we have one pate, pate one smoked trout, smoked. Right. And you, uh, it's lobster fresh. Yes, madam, I can recommend it. Then I have found all the things added. Um, poulet uh, estragon for me, please. Uh, poulet estragon. <laughs> Would you get to see the wine list, sir? Might as well. My wife has just returned from the sunny Mediterranean. She probably has a taste for it after three weeks. Very nice to madame. Won't be a moment, sir. The moment you come back, you start. I'm not starting, I was merely saying. Yes, I was just wondering if you were ready with your order yet, sir. No, indeed, we are not ready with our order yet. We'll let you know when we are. Thank you, sir. Every single time you come back from somewhere, you're absolutely... But it was your idea. I didn't know they were going to be here, did I? It was your idea we came out. Oh, since the children were away, I thought it would be a nice idea. It is a marvellous idea, now enjoy it. Yes, but I didn't know they were going to be here, did I? Waiter! Sir! Waiter! You'll be pleased to hear that we have lasted decided. Yes. Pencil are ready. Here we go. One potted shrimp, one grapefruit cocktail, and if it has a maraschino cherry on it, we don't want it. One dog of sauvignon off the bone, rum rum steak, just this side of medium rare. Just a moment, sir. <laughs> Dover sole off the bone, rum steak, medium rare. Have you chosen a wine, sir? Uh, Emma, white. Do you want white? Oh, I don't mind either of you. He wants half a glass. Well, just say red or white. I honestly don't mind. Oh, red then. Ah, oh, now, what have you got in the Italian wine? I think they're at the uh, back here, sir. The wine waiter's not on at the moment, otherwise... Yes, yes, Italian. We had a very reasonable one at the hotel I just stayed at. I thought you went there to work. I did go there to work. I had to stop occasionally now and then. <laughs> My husband's been overworking in Italy, poor thing. No, you don't seem to have it. I don't know how you managed to work in all that blazing sunshine. Ah, a bottle of this one here, the 104. Uh, uh, yes, sir, the 104, yes, sir. How on earth did you manage to cope for three so whole weeks? The last six months are beginning to move. Someone up there must have our best interests at heart. Yes. Smoke trout, madam. Um, which is... That's for him. Huh? Oh, that's for me, thank you. Oh, well, I... Sorry, sir. Old Pierce was back this afternoon. Old Pierce was back this afternoon. Full of the joys of spring, anyway. I don't know what he got up to in Rome, but he must have had a good time of it. I thought he went on business. I can't believe it took him three weeks to get a contract signed. I know the Italians are difficult, but... Mind you, if I was married to Emma Pierce, I'd chase off to Rome. Don't stare. Why? He's got his back to us and she's as blind as a bat. <laughs> no, he probably had some little Italian signora lined up. I mean, he always did like to mix his business with a bit Potted of... shrimp, sir. Thank you. And a steak for you, madam. No, that's for me as well. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry, I don't believe you. Well, that's up to you. That's what I was doing. Well, I think you're a liar. And the problem was, to reallocate staff work schedules, 
to ensure that everyone is guaranteed at least one day off in three, whilst guaranteeing normal production. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Which is one hell of a problem, yes. Have you chosen wine, sir? Ah, yes. You see, as soon as you hear someone say, lost men off the assembly section, you have to ensure that you have sufficient manpower to tie during the entire three-day period without any noticeable shrinkage in labour effectiveness. Martin, he's waiting to know what wine. Ah, yes, to do a carafe. Yes, sir. Carafe of white, not too sweet. Carafe of white, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, we managed it. We put in the report and Donald Pierce is over the moon. I mean, he only had time to glance at this afternoon, but... Oh, where did I put it? There it is. Grapefruit, um, cocktail, madam. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, won't be a moment, sir. Was it very hot in here? It's just you. Take off your jacket. Potted shrimps, sir. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry. I think you're lying. I beg your pardon, madam. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. I beg your pardon. A uh, toast is just there, sir. So, in the end, we managed it. You. I took on responsibility. Yeah. I took on the entire responsibility of the whole ADMJ project. Took on both jobs, done a lot myself. Yes, I know, Martin. You've told me this before. Really? <laughs> when did I tell you? I've only been away for three weeks, you know. Oh. What time are you picking up the children? I told them we'll be there in time for lunch. Ah, oh, well, I the peace and quiet. Did you miss them? I haven't had time to miss anyone, darling. Not even you. Oh, oh. you're missing dreadfully. Toast is just there. Oh, did I tell you? Graham shot and finally got that job in Glasgow. Oh, did he? Sir? The 104, sir. Oh, yes, right, yes. Thank you, sir. Oh, did you get someone to have a look at that radiator in the bedroom? They said they'd come on Tuesday. Oh. He said it sounded as if it needed a new part. Puh, well, that out. I'm not wasting money on a new part. I'm not wasting money on that. <laughs> Just on holidays. Would you care to try it, sir? Thank you. Oh, bit on the chill side. <clears throat> It'll do, go ahead. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, that's enough, thank you. Thank you, madam. Are you eating that or just leaving it? Leaving it. Oh, I will just leave it there, sir. Finished, madam? Yes, thank you. Was it sufficient for you, madam? Uh, beautiful. I'm just not very hungry. Thank you, madam. You can take that away as well, then. Thank you, sir. I don't see any point in you ordering food if you're not going to eat it! I just think it's a bit cheap, that's all. No, honestly, darling, it isn't. You see, the quality of the wife is frightfully important. If you have a top executive virtually responsible for, what, two or three hundred men? It is essential he is married to the right woman. Why? So that he is in a stable relationship. That she's suddenly not going to walk out on him. But she's not going to take any part of that at all, is she? Well, hardly, no. Then I think the firm ought to mind her own bloody business. I'm sorry. I said, who is she? Who is who? Who is she? All I'm saying is, as far as I'm concerned, you've been manufacturing marmalade. You spend all day in the office, you work at home most of the night, you never see the children, and I don't even know half the time what it is you're doing. Look, darling, if I told you, you wouldn't understand anyway. I don't think this is quite the occasion for this sort of conversation, do you? I can't think of a better time. In a public restaurant. Why not? Dover sauce. Thank you. I don't see any point in causing a scene. I am not causing a scene. I asked you a perfectly normal question. Who is this woman? Rump steak, sir. What does it matter? Because I want to know. Who said there was anyone in it? Oh, come along, darling. I'm not a fool. I'm not a bloody fool. Would you mind lowering your voice? I will not lower my voice. Carrots, madam? No, uh, thank you. Petit pois, madam? Uh, no, thank you. I want nothing else. Nothing else at all, madam? Uh, nothing else. Yes, sir. Madam. Could you kindly try and control yourself? Petit pois for you, sir. Yes. I'll tell you one thing, darling. If I ever get my hands on that little whore, I'll wring her neck. Do you mind? Do you mind? And you can tell the little bitch that from me. Oh. <laughs> Carrots, sir. No, no potatoes, nothing else. <laughs> yes, sir. Nothing else at all. <laughs> of course, sir. Well, that's a bit more sound, but I'm not in the slightest bit interested in your work, and you don't give a damn about mine. There we are, we have it, we have nothing in common. 
come on, darling. I don't know. I'm interested in what you're up to do, really. Of course. Nonsense. It's not nonsense. These last three weeks, all the way, you weren't even the slightest bit interested in where I was. I knew where you were, did you? You were in, where is it? Mallorca. Oh, not in York, actually, darling. As it happens, I was in Rome. Carrots, sir? Yes, please. Rome? What on earth are you doing in Rome? I was with Donald Pierce. <gasps> Donald Pierce? That's enough. What on earth are you doing with Donald Pierce? I spent three weeks in the hotel in Rome with Donald Pierce. My God! Uh, potato, sir. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Excuse me. No, sir. he doesn't. Sorry, madam. I'm sorry. Sorry, madam. Nothing. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, madam. <laughs> Green salad. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Um, French dressing, madam. Uh, How could you do it? Oh, I don't know. I felt. I don't know. <laughs> do you realise what it is you have done? It's not important, darling. It's all over. That's what I told you. It, it might be all over for you. But what if she finds out? Who? Emma Pierce. Mm. Don't you realise what it is is going to happen to me? What? I'll be out of my ear. That's what. As soon as Emma Pierce gets wind of this, I... Oh, damn it. If you had to choose anyone, why the <laughs> hell did it have to be Donald Pierce? That's it, don't you see? It's all over for me now. End of my prospect of promotion. I shall probably be forced to resign. Oh, is that what you're worried about? Of course that's all I'm worried about. <laughs> is that sufficient for you, madam? Oh, crying out loud. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Where are you going? Do you not care anything for me more? Nothing at all. Where are you going? I'm going to be physically sick. <laughs> Was everything all right, madam, sir? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. For the last time, you pull yourself together. I'll kill her when I see her. I'll kill her. Don't be so stupid. What do you want? I was just going to pour some more wine. We can do that ourselves. Go away! Yes. <laughs> Waiter! Madam? Uh, you can take this away. Have you finished, madam? Yes, it was quite delicious. Thank you very much. Oh, God. Excuse me. Was everything all right, madam? Uh, perfectly. It's just I'm afraid I'm unable to enjoy a meal with a man who turns out to be a deceitful, lecherous liar. For the love of Just through here, sir. Um, I'll show you. Just through there, sir. Damn poor thing to do. Good God. Hello, Charles. Oh, hello, Mr. Pierce. Good morning. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I've just had a bit of a mishap. Uh, so have I, kind of. Excuse me, sir. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to have a quick broth, mop up in the bar. No, in the gents. Then I'll, I'll see you in the bar for a brandy. Oh, that sounds lovely, Mr. Pierce. Yes, it would. Thank you, waiter. <laughs> yes, sir. Waiter! Sir, can you bring the bill through to the bar, please? Of course, sir. And can you put them both on the same one? Well, that's, yes, sir. that's not generous of you, Mr. Pierce. Not at all, not at all. After all that dedicated work you've done on that report, well, I probably owe you a meal by now, don't I? I don't know about that, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs>